The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. And uh, today we're going to take a brief look at the new campaign management feature that was released in version 8.82. So I'm just going to make sure that uh, everyone can see my screen there, and it looks like you can. Um, and I'll try to give you some, a couple of different scenario examples on how this tool might be able to be used. Um, in, in a couple of ways, and you can play with it some more yourself and find additional purposes for it as well. So I'm going to move over to uh, Business One here, and campaign management is found under the Business Partner menu. Uh, remember, as always, that you can always uh, type a question into the question box. Uh, you can um, uh, raise your hand, and I'll try to call on you as well. I'll try to hold most questions until after the basic demonstration today. Um, so where you would really start typically is with the campaign generation wizard. And uh, I'm going to show you two different methodologies of uh, doing this. Um, it looks a little better if we create it in this screen. Uh, we're going to create a new campaign. I could create campaigns based on existing ones, but I want to show you how I've done these. So for simplicity's sake, I'm going to call this uh, Customers2. You'll see where this name can become helpful if we choose to do an email campaign, of course, but uh, uh, because it's going to try to use that campaign name if we do this. So here it starts my template, and uh, in this case, I'm going to say that my uh, email type, uh, I'm going to do an email campaign. I can uh, tag it for other things, but it doesn't necessarily do, like it doesn't create uh, a phone.